yeah, so so this is Lars. We're going to talk a little bit about the uh, platform side of the application now. We're also going to touch a little bit in uh, the analytics um, side of things. So on the platform team, uh, we have been working on many new apps and improvements for 239. The most notable new app would be the new data entry application. And as some of you know, the um, the old data entry application has been with us for, uh, for more than a decade now, um, and it's been... A, a true and tested app that's been used for, for many years. Um, and it was about time for us to rebuild it uh, and give you a more modern and, and better experience. So the new app is essentially um, re-implemented on the new technology stack that we have at the DHS2 team. So you will be using the new React-based technology, um, the new look and feel that we have for most of the apps. And we are giving you a better and more modern experience. Some of the improvements that we have made, uh, we will talk about shortly. I also will, I also will say that this is not a revolution. It's following a lot of the same principles and, and workflow that you used to. So there shouldn't be a need to kind of do massive retraining so pe people <clears throat> or kind of change the way you do things. It works in pretty much the same way, except we have made uh, a number of notable improvements. So um, let's talk about some of those. So the first one would be uh, always visible data set and period selection. Uh, we have a visual indication of available organets in the hierarchy. We have a details common min max history audit log uh, panel on the side. Uh, data validation is more prominent than before. And we also have seamless offline support and data sync. So let's, let's dive into some of these, um, these points. So first of all, you can see that we have a, a always visible uh, top bar. Which, which always shows which selections you've made. In the previous app, um, the problem was if you scroll down, uh, you would lose sight of the selections that you have made. So, so let's dive in and have a look at what the, uh, the new app looks like. So first of all, the new app is released, released as a beta version, which means that we do expect there to be some minor glitches, though it's been through good testing. So it's, it's fairly stable and should be good to use. So with the new flow, you basically start by selecting a, a data set as before. Well, this is actually new. So we're selecting a data set first. In the previous app, you started by selecting an organet. So we're gonna go ahead and, and select the child health data sets. In the next step, you will see that we're gonna select the organets. We're gonna select the world famous uh, McGillahan um, clinic. And then uh, we go on to select the month. This is a monthly form. So we're gonna select a uh, month and this brings up the form. So, so you've probably seen this is conceptually very similar to what we had before. It just looks better as a much, much more modern style. And as usual, you can go here and, and enter data. You can you can tag along uh, and the data will automatically save in the back end. So, so as before, the data just saves in the background. There's nothing you need to do in terms of pressing a save button or anything like that. And even if you scroll down, you will see that the selection at the top remains. So it's always possible to see the form and the organism appear that you have selected, which should remove some confusion around what you're actually entering data for. Uh, 